And Emma just got ID for a Red Bull. <laughs> In we go. This is my new car. Take over time. Good morning guys, it is Monday. Welcome to another weekly vlog. A very exciting weekly vlog because I'm gonna buy my car this week. Technically I've already bought my car, but like I'm gonna go and pick it up. Um, that is what I'm most excited for. However, that isn't until Thursday. Today is only Monday. And if you watch my vlog on the weekend, you'll know that I said I'd woke up kind of feeling like ill, but like I was coming down with something. Um, yesterday I also had a headache. Today I feel like kind of a bit better than my ears are still popping. I actually get really bad earache. Like I've always had really, really bad like sensitive ears and stuff. So they're the first thing to go and they're still popping and it's so annoying. Because it's one of those things where you have to constantly like unblock your ears. So you're like sniffing or swallowing or like doing all that stuff where you're like <laughs> trying to clear your hearing. But this morning is quite sunny actually. It's the first day we've had okay weather over the last week or so. Um, and I'm about to go to school now. I'm not actually running late for once, which is a miracle. And I'm taking Tom in my car because I won't get to use my car much more. Not that I'm complaining about that, obviously. Um, but it is sad because that's my car and I'm not going to drive it or own it after Thursday. Some of you might be pleased to know that I am actually selling it to my friend Greg. So I'm still going to get to see my car and like go in my car if I want to. Um, but yeah, Greg is going to buy my car off me and then I'm going to get my new one on Thursday. So yes. All good. Still rocking a very curly ponytail. If you did watch my vlog from last Sunday when I surprised my friends, um, that was Saturday night. Today is Monday morning. Haven't washed my hair because it still looks like this and it actually looks kind of okay. So I've just left it and I'm rocking the 80s vibe. So yeah, let's go. Okay guys, so this is the outfit I have on. Wow, okay, I'm gonna have to back up a lot because I didn't realize how far away this was. But basically, yeah, I've got these trousers on. These are from Top, no, not Top Shop, New Look. This is from Plumber. This is my school year, Lanyard. And my earrings, I get loads of questions about these when I wear them. These are from Levisa, which, uh, if you're local to me, there isn't a store near here. I think there might be one in Leeds. Um, but these are from London, so yeah. I think all stores stock slightly different stuff, but yeah, I really recommend looking in there for um, nice earrings if you want them. Liv actually recommended it to me and I wear them all the time now. So yeah, that is my outfit. I'm gonna pop it on with probably some white Converse that aren't white anymore uh, and a blue denim jacket, which is upstairs, isn't it actually? Need to go upstairs and get that. Um, but yeah, gonna go to school now. I'll link the outfit below. I said I'd do that last week. I actually will do that this week. So all outfit links to everything I wear every single day during the weekly vlog is always linked below if you're interested in any of the stuff. <laughs> so, me and Tom are in Debenhams looking at presents because it's my dad's birthday on tomorrow, so Tuesday. I think I'm gonna get this. Tom's looking at stuff for his dad. That's actually a really good gift for your dad. He, loves he does love Scrabble. So I think I'm gonna get this. I'm also gonna go to Patisserie Valerie to get a drink. Fun fact, this is the exact Patisserie Valerie I used to work in back in the day. And by back in the day, I mean like a year and a half ago. So I did a stupid thing. I've come to Fleming Gate with Tom, which is like a shopping centre. Um, and I left my parking ticket in my car. But to get out, you have to go downstairs, scan the ticket, and then come back to your car. So you meant to like, take it with you, obviously. But I'm parked on the third floor. And I realised when I got to the bottom that I'd left it in the car. So I was like, for God's sake. So Tom was like, oh, I'll stay at the bottom. You send me a photo of it. I'll see if I can scan it. And I was like, I don't think that's going to work. So I think I'm going to have to go back down and scan the actual ticket not a photo of it because otherwise people would do that all the time but yeah he said he's just texted me has it worked i bet it hasn't it's not working damn no i don't want to have to go back down so it's been a while i'm now in my car it's actually dark because i'm going to tom's house well it's not dark because i'm going to tom's house it's dark because it's night time um but i'm going to tom's just for like two hours because he has football at 9 p.m tonight and i didn't want to go because that is really super late and also it is my dad's birthday tomorrow i'm just going to put a torch on because it's very dark um so oh and now it's very bright <laughs> come on camera that's kind of better we're just very lit um but yeah, basically, a small issue that we're having in the house at the moment is the boiler has just broken and it's literally two degrees. So I'm like, ahem. So my dad's on the phone to British Gas at the moment because, um, yeah, we don't really want to not have any heating. And also my dad's going away tomorrow, even though it is my dad's birthday tomorrow, but we're actually celebrating it tonight. But Harry is out at his like cricket club thing until half past eight. Um, and I'm going to go to Tom's until half past eight. And then when we both get back, when Harry and I both come in at half eight, we're going to like do presents and cake and I don't know probably watch something on the telly and kind of celebrate my dad's birthday tonight and then um, I'm actually also going out for lunch with him and my mum tomorrow but obviously Harry is in school then so that is the plan for that but we're just having a small issue because the heating and the electrics all just went out so it was like 
fab okay cool but the electrics are back on now but the heating is not so yeah i'm gonna go to tom's house mainly just for the warmth um and i don't really have anything else to update you on to be honest okay guys i'm now back from tom's house and we're gonna do my dad's birthday present so i'm gonna show you guys before my dad sees um what his presents look like oh my god it's so cold in here um but yeah basically i'm back from tom's um after some of your guys's recommendations from the weekly vlog last week we've started watching the in-betweeners and i actually don't totally hate it it's actually quite funny so um yeah we've just watched i think four episodes so I'm not gonna lie and then we've come back well we haven't Tom's gone to football I have come back because now we are doing presents look guys it's so exciting um it's my dad's birthday in the morning as I've already mentioned he has no idea that he has this many he thinks we've got him one gift I look exceptionally tired my makeup is all under my eyes because whenever I watch the telly lying down or like half lying down my eyes water horrifically does anybody else have that like you turn on the side slightly or you lay in bed and your eyes just water because mine do it even when I'm like sat up it's so annoying sometimes my eyes will just stream um so I've cried my eyeliner off on like both eyes that's what my makeup is if you're wondering why I look so bedraggled but yeah I'm so excited the thing that I'm most excited for Colin the caterpillar my dad's currently doing a scratch card and we thought we we're about to win 250 grand because he was reading it out it's like 250,000 250,000 and then the next one on the row was four so we didn't win it Harry's currently lying on the floor like a seal. Harry, why aren't you sat down like a normal person? Harry? I don't know. Same. <laughs> Me when I come home from school. <laughs> Me when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Why am I the only one singing? Happy birthday to you. Did you make a wish? I did. <coughs> the reason there's only two cameras. Harry, you snorting smirk. Yeah. Good morning guys, it is now Tuesday, I'm looking a little bit bald, a little bit rough, just could not be bothered to do my hair to be honest, I washed it last night and then I was like, I'm not straightening it, I'm not curling it, so uh, this is what we're working with, I don't know if you can see it behind me, yep, it's like a middle-aged mum hairstyle, but it's okay, um, it really works on some people, like I see so many Instagram people and YouTube people wearing their hair like this, on me, it doesn't really work. I need to go to school now, I'm just about to be running late, I'm not quite running late yet, so I'm gonna leave now, I'm gonna go to English, it is my dad's birthday today, as you'll have seen last night, um, and I'm also going for an eye test, I have an eye test booked for half eleven, um, and I have a feeling they're gonna tell me that I need glasses, because I have noticed my vision isn't as, like, good, um, I don't know if I'm imagining it though because I've been to the opticians before and been like I am blind and they're like you're not and I'm like I just where I am um, So apparently I have like I think one of my eyes is like 0.25 one way. I don't know which way. I don't understand it um, But I have a feeling they're gonna tell me that they're both 0.25 or one of them's like 0.5 And if they are I kind of do want glasses just because I've been getting more headaches recently um, and I don't know if glasses would help that or if they wouldn't but also I like wearing sunglasses because you can put them on your head and my thinking is glasses you can do that all year round so um, if I do need glasses I won't be that bothered um, however I'm going to Vision Express at half past 11 so we shall see I'm going to go to school now I'm going to drive my car for the second to last day that I will ever drive my car I need to sort my insurance out today as well because I can't physically get the car home from Leeds until I insure myself on that car instead of this current car so yeah it's really stressful if you guys have never even given a second thought about a car and you've always just got in one like as a passenger not as a driver there's actually so much that goes on and it's like really annoying and complicated so yeah not looking forward to doing it all but hopefully i won't change my car again anytime soon so i won't have to do it again um but yeah i'm gonna go to school now okay so i'm sat in my mum's car and i'm vlogging at this angle love a dirty lens because there is a guy oh my god why is the lens still dirty i've cleaned this so many times um there's a guy sat directly next to me in the car literally next to me um staring at me so i thought well he'll stare at me even more if i pick my camera up but basically i've been on the phone to my insurance company for like the whole morning because they just were being really unhelpful <laughs> but the person i did eventually talk to was really helpful but it took her absolutely ages to get to be like i was on hold for forever and then i went online and did it in the end which is what they said they were like oh you didn't need to call us just go online and i was like are you serious um i went online and it's gonna cost me literally like 480 pounds to transfer my insurance over to my new car until july like it's not even a full year 480 pounds for four months and i know that i can get insurance for a full year for about 850 pounds so it seems so ridiculous and I'm, now i'm in a bit of a 
like I don't really know what to do do I cancel my insurance completely and start again or do I move the insurance over so that I get a year's no claims and it's all just this adult stuff that I have no idea what to do so I've left my dad with it at home um, and I'm going for my eye test now which is why I'm in the car I'm waiting for my mum to pay and then come back Oh, she's back, so we're going now. Okay guys, so I did my eye test. Well, I didn't personally do my eye test. I had my eye test and I'm not blind, which is a shock. But yeah, no, I'm not blind. I thought I was gonna be. I fully expected them to be like, oh yeah, your prescription's actually changed because I was at like 0.25 in one eye. So I thought they were gonna say like 0.5, but then it turns out it's actually gone to 20, 20 vision. So it's got better in this eye. So I was quite shocked. Wait, no, this way. Um, so yeah, I don't need glasses. Pretty happy, but I also kind of did want glasses. So like, yeah. Um, so we're now in the King's Head for my dad's birthday lunch. Tom's gonna join us because he was coming through to town anyway. He's not here yet. So we're gonna order some food and then he's gonna join us. Guys, we're sat at this really old fashioned like pub table and I was like, oh, what's this lever? And I just started like, wait, which way does it go? Doing it this way, the table. No, that's going down. Started going up, the table's going up. I am so sure of this. Okay guys, so I am now back home and I went into school for media and I had lunch. I can't really remember the last thing I vlogged. It might have been the food. Um, but I'm back home now. I have insured my new car. Um, obviously I haven't got my car yet, but starting on Thursday the insurance starts. So yeah, basically my whole day has just been loads of boring expensive adult things that are just not fun to vlog so i haven't really vlogged anything um other than the food because that was good food um and now i'm basically just going to do a media essay and then probably try and do some english work obviously exams are creeping up close and i've had a lot of comments being like can you do some revision based videos can you do um a couple of like i don't know how i revised english videos like very specific target videos for specific subjects and i'm not going to do any videos like that directly for one subject just because if you want channels like that i feel like i'm not your best person to come to because if i'm 100 percent honest i don't really remember how i revised for like gcse science and stuff like that like i remember how i did it and how i passed but like i can't give you the the detail and the depth that somebody either studying it now could or study channels such as like Eve, uh, Jade, people like that who who focus all of their time on, well not all of the time, but focus their time on making videos about that subject. So I'd definitely head in that direction. However, having said that, I am gonna definitely post a couple of revision based videos, a couple of stress related videos um, and how to stay calm and get the most out of this next three month exam period. So I definitely am gonna upload probably two or three videos based around revision based around how to maximize your holiday time your weekends things like that um because i feel like a broader range of stuff is going to be better for my channel and what i can talk about rather than something specific because the subjects i'm studying now are very niche like i'm studying media i'm studying photography i'm studying english literature and i feel like especially media and photography i can't really sit down and tell you how i'm revising because it's not a academic subject it's not something where i can be like go through the textbook, read over your notes, it's not really a subject like that, so I'm not the best person to talk about it, if that makes sense. Um, however, I am about to write a media essay, and if any of you were interested in what is included in my media essay, I spoke about that in last week's weekly vlog, and I'm just adding to my YouTube regulation kind of essay, and yeah, I'm not, I don't totally hate it to be honest, it's quite a nice essay to write, it's just taking me like four weeks because it's a big essay, it's a piece of coursework, so yeah and then after that i think we might be eating some pasta are we eating pasta maybe yay <laughs> you're not i actually haven't eaten pasta this week so that's good Good morning guys, I'm running very late so I'm going to be a bit quick but I have woken up with a rash on my forehead again, I keep getting rashes on my forehead, um, I don't know why, I think it might be stress, like I am really stressed, really busy, as you guys saw I was working for so long last night on a magazine for media, however the reason I am dressed like this is because I'm actually going to a Zumba class with my mum, 
yeah i'll update you on how that goes afterwards but we're running very late okay i'm now in the car and um i can actually talk now i was in a really big rush basically me and my mum are trying a zumba class because the gym i've been going to do classes and then just after christmas i think it was or maybe more recently than that they started doing a zumba class and i used to go to zumba when i was about how old was that? Like 14? That was when you were doing your Duke of Edinburgh. Yeah, 14. I did it for my Duke of Edinburgh sport. Oh my god, my forehead is ridiculous. I hope I don't see anybody. Um, but yeah, we decided that when they started a Zumba class, we were going to go. Because when I used to go, when I was younger, my mum always wanted to come with me. I'm sorry the radio's on, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice spring looking morning. It's still only four and a half degrees. However, uh, it doesn't feel that cold for once. It feels like spring might might be on its way no it's definitely not sprung look at all the trees they're all dead still um but yeah basically my mum has never been to a gym before in her whole life uh, has never done any exercise <laughs> that's a lie i have in my previous life what's your previous life before you had children yeah all right okay well all right in the last but 18 to 20 since. years my mum's never stepped foot in any exercise i place. haven't needed to <laughs> Right, well, I do need to, so. And now we're going to be late. Oh, we are. My mum was like, Molly, be quick, there's temporary traffic lights. And I was like, it'll be fine. It's not fine, there's a traffic jump. Oh, it's fine. They'll be really grateful that two more people turn up. This gym is so <laughs> quiet, honestly, guys. Might not be when they see me. <laughs> Shout out to our problematic neighbours who are, look, look, right, look. Tell me this isn't blocking the road. Oh, he's seen me filming it as well. He's it seen me. Road, he's it? seen me. We've just come in from the gym and we put the key in the door. My mum did this. <laughs> <laughs> she's now, she's literally wet this up. She's like, oh my god, I go to the gym wall. Look, look at that, guys. Seriously, how could that even happen? What? We were just having an angry strop at the our next door neighbours and then, boom, the key does that. So, it is half past ten and I'm back from the gym and I actually think it went pretty well. Like, the Zumba class was 45 minutes, so it wasn't awful. Like, I actually managed it, wasn't really out of breath. And then I did 15 minutes on the treadmill and then yeah came home now i'm gonna get in the shower half past ten i feel like i've done pretty good this morning i've got up i've been to the gym i've done an hour coming back gonna have a really quick shower and then i'm gonna finish the media that i started yesterday sorry i didn't explain that if i'm 100 percent honest i was working on it for about five hours i filmed about an hour's worth of time lapse footage um and i was working on it for five hours i'm very nearly done the deadline is friday so obviously today is wednesday but i have to get an essay done as well which is also nearly done but he keeps giving me more amendments and more things to change so i sat and did that for five hours and then i had the worst headache in the world honestly i'd been looking at my screen my laptop since 5 p.m when i got in until i think it was quarter past 11 i stopped and i had to stop because i just had such a bad headache and then i went to sleep and now it's gone so that's fine um but it'll probably come back because i'm just so stressed at the moment honestly i think that's why i'm getting this rash if i'm 100 percent honest um but I'm gonna get in the shower I'm gonna try and be productive I'm gonna try and finish the essay i feel like i'm in like a better mood to write an essay now because after I'd done five hours of creative work last night my brain was like tuned out to any form of academic writing and I sat and I looked at it and I was like no <laughs> so I just went to bed instead um so I need to do that this morning and then all being well I'm going to meet Tom for his lunch at one it's a really lovely day so that should be nice gonna go and get in the shower now though because I am sweaty <laughs> So we're in Asda, I'm with Izzy and Emma, and Emma just got ID for a Red Bull. <laughs> but to be fair, it was only 16, and I don't know if the woman said it because she thought you were underage. Like, when she said it, she was like, sadly, I was like, does she think we're really young, or? Not uniform. Oh yeah, it might be a non-uniform day. Anyway, it was successful, we got the Red Bull, and now I'm with <laughs> Emma and Izzy. <laughs> and Emma's already had two coffees today. We do not advise this behaviour. <laughs> Guys, I've been mugged off. I bought a packet of these, look how many you get. What is it? <laughs> There's only enough for like one each and then we can't even each have two. We've been, we've been mugged off. Guys, it's been a little while. I've just been on Fleming Gate to get a Costa with my friend Toby. And now I'm going back home. But I'm vlogging right now because this is the last ever time I'm going to drive this car. When I drive it home, when I get home, that is going to be it. Like, that's it. I take the key out and my insurance is cancelled at midnight tonight so i will never drive this car again unless i go back out tonight which i doubt i'm gonna do but i might do just for the sake of driving it again but probably not because i can't really be bothered and it's really cold so yeah are we ready guys my little corsair's last run out i'm actually quite sad this was my mum's car before i had this car and it's the only car i can ever remember the family owning like my mum like my dad's had loads of different cars but this was always my mum's car and then now it's my car and tomorrow it is 
becoming my friend Greg's car, uh, who was buying it off me. So we're still gonna like, I'm still gonna see it and stuff. There's a kid literally just sat screaming on the floor. Mood, <laughs> I feel you. Um, so yeah, are we ready? Watch it, watch the engine go off. Oh, it didn't. Right, well, I'm gonna vlog the last drive for you guys. So that's it, I'm home, my car is done <laughs> and um, yeah, this is it, this is the end of this little little Vauxhall Corsa and I can't say I'm going to miss it particularly, I'm very excited to drive a different car but it has served me well and yeah, new car time. Au revoir. Oh wait, I need to lock it, I put the key away. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to steal it but you never know. Goodbye. Oh, I'm parked nearly on the grass. Cool. Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday. I'm on a train. It's very loud. The exposure was too low. Um, but today I'm going to pick my car up. I'm going back to Available Car in Leeds. Not sponsored by Available Car, I wish. Um, and I'm with my dad. We're getting the train, obviously, because we have to pick the car up and drive it back. Um, so we're getting the train to Leeds and then we are getting a taxi because available car is actually in Morley, Morley. Um, and then we're gonna get a taxi to the place and then like sign all of the documents. I've already paid for it. I paid for it last night on like bank transfer, which I thought was quite cool. That I had like, I didn't know if I'd have to get the cash, but then I presume they wouldn't want like that, that amount of money in cash and stuff. Um, so I did it last night, picked the car up and then we're gonna drive it back. And then when we get to the end of the motorway bit of the drive, I'm gonna, we're gonna swap over and I'm gonna drive it. Um, Cause I want to practice driving it and I want to drive it to school today. So really there's no reason that I shouldn't be able to, like I can drive a car and I have already driven this car and I didn't feel like not confident in it. So yeah, the only reason I'm not driving it home is because the majority of the route to Leeds is the M62. So this whole motorway. Are you excited? My dad's just got back from Amsterdam literally one hour ago. He got off the ferry at what time? 7.30. It's half past seven and now he's on a train back out to Leeds again. We have now made it into Morley, which is where the car place is. If I'm 100% honest, I don't know where I am. Never been here and I don't really know West Yorkshire very well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and get a taxi because it's like a two mile walk, but hopefully, Hopefully there'll be somewhere to get a taxi from. We look, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere, so don't really know where a taxi is going to appear from. Call an Uber. Don't think Uber will be this yeah, far out. Yeah, seven minutes. Okay. In we go, in we go. So here it is. This is my new car. I'm so in love with it, guys. Literally look at it. Oh my God. I'm getting in the passenger seat because my dad is driving it home as I've already mentioned, but so nice. Oh my gosh. Guys, look at it. It looks so smart. The radio is so nice. Like obviously this is such an upgrade for me guys because my car has a tape player at the moment and this doesn't even have, actually is that a CD slot? Oh, does it not have a CD slot? But yeah, it's so nice. It's so smart. I love, love, love. Put your seatbelt on. I love the colour of it, you can see it in the wing mirror, it's such like a true shade of white, like it's not like cream or like off-white or any of that, it's like white and I just love white cars so much, I think they're so smart, I think my dad has a white car and I think that's why I wanted this one in white because I just love how my dad's car looks, it looks so much smarter than the other models of that car in that colour in my opinion. When it's clean, yeah, I know it's going to be a lot of effort to clean. So many people in my vlog were like, you don't get a white car, it always look dirty and I was like, no, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so we picked it up. It was super, super quick actually. Um, we'll probably be home for like one o'clock. So that's what well, sort of fuel. We've only got ten miles. Yeah, I was gonna say when they were like, "You've got enough fuel to get home." I was like, ten miles is not gonna get us home." All bought, all done. This is my car. This is me whip. Got five seats. Got five doors. And I feel like I got the most I could possibly get for my money. Like I knew my budget. I knew my limit. And this is definitely the top end of my limit. Like I was. Like I've blown my budget basically on this car, but I think I've got stuff worthwhile. It also has reverse parking sensors, um, and yeah, 
yeah i just really like it basically so we've come to fill the car up guys i'm literally in love with it i'm um, also i'm very aware that i haven't really addressed what was going on on my head and i'm not very sure i'm not very sure i'm not sure how well you can see it hopefully you can't see it but obviously i don't know until i edit it so i do have a rush just ignore it um i'm trying to but yeah my dad's currently filling it up for me i know i shouldn't be vlogging in a petrol station but we are now about to swap over i have 25 minutes to half an hour left in the car um and i'm gonna drive it and 15 minutes of that is on the motorway i have driven on the motorway once before but i did it by myself this time my dad will be with me obviously it's slightly scary because i've never really driven the car before but i feel like with this car i just want to bite the bullet and get over my fear of like driving not that i don't have a fear of driving i just don't really like driving at speed but i think the problem was that my car my old car sounded like it was literally gonna explode when i drove anything above like 55 the engine was so loud but this engine is slightly bigger and it's obviously newer so i feel like if i start now then i will have always been like I've, i'll have already driven on the motorway in this car if you know what i mean psychologically it's a thing so my dad actually forgot to take the exit off the motorway so that i could swap and drive so now i'm just gonna drive from when we get to nearer home but yeah i've also tuned all of the radio stations so number one is capital number two is viking number three is radio one number four i haven't tuned but that's, that's radio four that's for when dad drives the car and number five is whatever that is i've never that. heard of that i probably will tune number five to kcfm which is like a local radio but i'm probably just going to keep it on number one or number two i actually prefer listening to viking over capital but i mainly because i couldn't tune capital to my other car but i don't know if i'll lose capital when i get into beverly it doesn't always play okay guys i'm looking pretty rough i'm sounding pretty weird i've got retainers in and i have cream on my face for my rash that i need to actually go and wash off i haven't updated you mainly because I haven't done anything. Got my car home and I drove to school in it and I drove fine and I'm actually really happy with how I'm driving in it. Like I haven't stalled it, haven't, like it just feels like driving my other car really. So yeah, and then I went to Tom's house. I didn't stay particularly long. He had football, I had work to do. It's just a very like busy time of the year. I'm so sorry that these vlogs are quite like monotonous and like repetitive and the same because right now that's just my life but i promise as soon as exams are over that is not going to be the case right now i'm about to go to bed but i'm also about to paint my nails i'm going to use this color it's by nails ink and it is in the shade claremont street which is really nice and then i've also got a top coat because I haven't done my own nails in quite a long time to be honest i did them last week that didn't last very long i'm so bad at doing nail varnish that lasts long like it literally chips off after like a day and i don't know why um, but I want to get out of the habit of going to get my nails done because my natural nails are really weak and before I started getting them done they were like really strong and really long so yeah I don't I don't want to keep going to get my nails done really but yeah I'm just gonna paint my nails I'm gonna watch some of the in-betweeners I've literally managed to finish the whole beginning to end of the in-betweeners in literally a week and a half um, and it's so not a me kind of program but it's just that time of the year isn't it really where every every person every student is like binge watching stuff they shouldn't be binge watching please tell me i'm not alone in that i know that liv is watching it with me and tom is watching it with me too so i'm not the only person watching the in between us right now but yeah i'm gonna go to bed and i'll pick you up tomorrow it's friday i'm very excited it's the last day of term my easter break starts the day that you're watching this <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna go good morning guys it is friday i have well i would say i've just got up i actually went downstairs i had breakfast and now i'm up because i decided to get up early so that i could ring and get a doctor's appointment because my face like i'm not going to show you in detail but like you guys can see it it's just not cute at all i'm trying to vlog like there i mean i usually chop the top of my head off anyway but yeah so i have a doctor's appointment at half no 20 past three half past three 20 past three i think um so that's fun they're not gonna say anything i'll just be like oh put some cream on it but i'd rather go and just check it's nothing like worse than that and like ask them why it keeps on coming back and stuff but i really do need to get up now i need to leave the house in about just under an hour um and i want to straighten my hair so i really need to get up and then i'm gonna go and pick tom up and we are gonna go drop off a parcel and then go into school so i don't really know what i'm gonna film today obviously the doctors is not the most entertaining thing oh i also painted my nails really like this colour actually it's really pretty but yeah i need to make sure i get some revision done i also need to edit this vlog so today's pretty chill i'm feeling pretty good it's very sunny i love waking up when it's sunny does that just not put you in the best mood like when you wake up and like it's already light and really sunny in your room it's just like the nicest best thing so i've got so used to waking up to rain or even snow over the last couple of weeks and it's just like it's just like spring it feels like spring
Okay guys, so my hair is done. It's as straight as it will be. I've put it like half up um, and then now I'm going to do my makeup. I just read a tweet on Twitter that said makeup before hair always and I just wondered which way you did it. If you're a girl watching this or a boy, um, do you do your hair first or do you do your makeup? Because I've always done my hair first but maybe I'm doing it wrong. Am I doing it wrong? I guess there is no right or wrong, but let me know which way round you do it. Okay guys, so now I have made a little bit more effort, I do feel a bit more put together. My face looks very two dimensional because I haven't put any contour, any bronzer or any highlight on just because I don't want anything extra like in this area where I have a rash. Oh my god, you guys should take a shot every time I say I have a rash because that would be a great drinking game, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, basically, I'm gonna go to school now, I'm gonna pick Tom up and yeah, straighten my hair. I'm so excited to get it cut next week. I've been talking about this haircut for literally like three weeks now just because I really need a haircut. Like, ooh. The only problem is like, it's always gonna look like this. It, do it isn't looking like this specifically because I haven't had a haircut. Like, obviously it's part of the reason I really do need a haircut. But the problem is I have frizzy hair. Like, I have naturally curly hair. So regardless of how much I get cut off, the ends never go straight because my hair doesn't naturally want to be straight. So it's very difficult for it to stay like how it looks like up here. But yeah, gonna go to school. I don't know, I actually do a little bit different today. I haven't used this palette in a very long time, but this is the Morphe Morphe? Morph? Morphe 35p palette um, and then this lipstick doesn't match it at all but I didn't want to put a matte lipstick on and for some reason, uh, actually no I could put Modesty on by MAC. Well anyway the lipstick I currently have on if you're interested is this, it's Viva Glam 2 by MAC. It's the only MAC lipstick I still kind of really use, used to be obsessed with them but I use this and I'll use Modesty. I think I have about 10 others but I only really use those two now because I don't know. I don't really know why. I feel like I just don't really use these. I think it's because when I bought them, I was like a bit younger. I was like, well, a lot younger. So I went for really wild colours like this. Like, I'm never going to wear that. Why did I spend 16 quid on that? That's so matte as well. Like, you can't even put it on. You need like the nicest, smoothest lips ever. So yeah, when I was younger, I wasted quite a lot of money on these. So... That's a fun fact. I think everybody did though. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to school. My outfit today is this pinafore dress combination with my uh, pull and bear top. Wow, this is very short. <sighs> not my fault I'm tall but yeah this pull and bear jumper is what I've got underneath it I didn't know if I'd be a little bit too warm but I don't think I will be it is short but at the back it does cover my bum so I guess that is the most important thing and it is not my fault that I have like a really long torso and this is a petite like yeah I don't know really why I got it in a petite but yeah I did that so now it's very short but gonna pair it with some boots gonna pair it with a denim jacket and i am gonna go to school so guys i'm here with tom now we've just come to morrison's and he's bought me one of these which is a oh i love the focus usb like i'm sorry this is out of focus guys oh there you go adaptery thing but it's like on a length where you can adjust it so that i can play my music through a usb my dad did put some music on it but it was just playing a little bit weirdly um but i do have some music on this memory stick as well um and then obviously i'll also have the radio and a cd player but <laughs> haven't owned a cd since about 2009 nine so here is tom you'll have to wait until thursday for a full car tour how does this work oh take over time hello are you vlogging <laughs> i'm not vlogging no i'm not vlogging what are you doing i'm just playing with your camera hello are you filming no yeah what <laughs> this is gonna go in the no vlog, no you can't put this in no <laughs> ah, switch off how do i switch off well, I hope you enjoyed that takeover from my dad. I'm now going to the doctors, as I said earlier in my vlog, and I'm actually driving my mum in the car for the first time ever. I've taken my makeup off and it looks kind of weird because I haven't taken my eye makeup off, but I just didn't want to go to the doctors without any makeup on because then I look like really dead. Bye. See you later. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you nervous? Yeah. You're not nervous? You really rarely drove in the other car with me. I think you went in my other car like twice other than when you owned it for 10 years okay guys it has been a while quite a long time actually to be honest it is now half past nine no nine o'clock um and i haven't really done very much i went to the doctors and i told them and they were like oh i think you have acne and i was like well i don't have acne because it's a rash like it literally goes away overnight to be honest she wasn't very helpful but she did give me some cream that i'm gonna try so like I mean, I've got it on now, it's quite shiny, you can probably see it. So I'll let you know how that goes. I currently have a really bad headache. This is like my fifth headache this week. Mentioned that to the doctor as well while I was in there, but she didn't seem very concerned about that either. She was like, oh. But anyway, yeah, she didn't seem particularly concerned. I think it's stress. She agreed it probably was stress. Like I explained I had my A-levels and she was like, hmm, yeah, but she was like quite vague. 
But I wanted to talk through some deliveries. So today I have actually received this from Coconut Lane. You guys know that I love everything from Coconut Lane. They let me pick a weekly planner. They've just come out with a couple. They're all on their website and I picked this one. So 20% off with the code BEAUTYSPECTRUM20 on all stuff on their website. But their new things this week are weekly planners. And this is definitely going to help me organise my life. And I love how it's a little bit more fun, a little bit different. Um, so yes, thank you very much to the lovely team at Coconut Lane as always for sending this out to me I love the team at Coconut Lane so so much. They're my favorite PR people and yeah I love them. Then I've also received these now I didn't know that I was getting these now these are from Man Manucure Doctor and I don't know if they've sent me them because they've seen me complaining about my skin but they're all like reduces redness, smooths your skin, serum and um, cashmere touch cream so I'm very excited to give these a go once my skin has calmed down a little bit to help keep it that way so thank you very much for sending these out to me I'm excited to give them a go and I will leave a link to them below if you guys are interested in skin products that do the things that these say that they do and then the last delivery is this one here now this is actually from difficult to do this with one hand guys but yeah this is from LA girl so they have kindly sent me out some of their makeup and I'm so excited to give it a go so they've sent me two beauty blender beauty sponge esque looking things and then this makeup brush here and then they contacted me asking if I wanted to pick a foundation in my shade and they have sent me two so this is the Pro Matte High Definition Longwear Foundation in the shade Bisque I think yeah and then this is just the same here and then these two are what I presume to be the concealers but they're meant to be really really good concealers I have actually used these before that one is quite dark and then this one here is quite light so these are so so nice thank you so much to the team at LA Girl for sending these out to me very excited to test them out and again once my skin has calmed down I will let you guys know I'll let you know what I think of the foundation what I think of the sponges so thank you so so much for sending these my way okay guys so the makeup is off my teeth are brushed and I'm just gonna put some cream on my face and I'm gonna finish editing this vlog I have actually pretty much already done it I've literally done everything I just need to import this clip and then export it upload it and make a thumbnail it's only 10 o'clock but I thought really want to have an early night it's the first night of half term I want this half term wait it's not half term is it it's Easter I want it to be really productive I want to get loads done so I want to start it off feeling the best I can and I want to get rid of this headache as well so I'm gonna go to sleep as soon as really I might watch a film it is it's not even 10 o'clock yet to be honest so I might try and find a stream for I think it's new out ladybird I don't know we watched a trailer for it in media studies and I've seen a lot of hype on twitter so I'm gonna see if I can find a stream online for that um don't advise that don't find illegal movie streams and stuff but you know I'm gonna try and find one for this um, so that is my plan for tonight thank you so much for watching the weekly vlog if you have stuck through to the very very end let me know in the comments because it does always surprise me the amount of people that watch all of these because when I edit it I'm like I am just rambling on but you guys seem to enjoy the longer vlogs and I like the longer vlogs as well so I'm gonna go I shall see you tomorrow with a shorter vlog but another vlog nevertheless and I've got quite an exciting week of uploads as well this week so you're not gonna want to miss it stay tuned subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all then Bye.